Welcome, mine subjects, to my court of knowledge. I, Fischl, the Princess Endeavor Ertalung, will be explaining the power of my new royal knights introduced into mine kingdom. Dia the Flame Mane, as beautiful as she is fierce, will be welcomed amongst my retainers as the Sentry Knight. Her role in combat is that of a vessel to mitigate the damage from the spawns of darkness. Her vigor and health are bolstered as she ascends in levels, and her power ascends with the health ascension, but only ever so slightly. She has harnessed the fury of Pyro, and with it, she will unleash the elemental field that will do coordinated, blazing cataclysmic strikes with any attack. While my other retainer, such as Sir Albedo, has an elemental field that lasts the duration of the entire battle, our sentry idea is able to keep up hers for a fraction of the time. But worry not, the damage it exhibits may be far below normal standards, but it offers mitigation to damage, and Dia herself will take on that damage spread across the kingdom. Although, our court librarian Sing Chu also does this for a much longer duration, however, Dia's splendor during her skill will boost the morale of our army. In addition to her presence in the garrison of the army, bolstering their defense against the plagues of mankind, she will take to the field and unleash a fury of hellfire strikes on any who dare step to challenge the inhabitants of Imernakai. The majestic flow of her strikes is almost enough to match mine thundering retribution. However, she will not synergize with any of our generals. She may offer a coordinated attack, but none other coordinated attacks will follow her. Despite this, our courtmate's Lady Magistus is a welcome addition to her squad. Such as that of a berserker, she is also intent on reviving from the brink of death. When she takes a fatal blow and falls below a certain health threshold, she will heal herself. She will also take on all of the accumulated damage from the army while this is happening, so she may indeed find herself suffering from too much health loss. But worry not, Dia gains a tremendous fold of nothing from all of the damage she has taken. She will take it willingly and get no external or internal buff to her prowess. Lady Dia, the Sentry Knight of our Kingdom of the Imanakite, will gain immense power from the supplication of Primo Gems. The same power as a normal 5 star is unlocked behind her C2, Sand Blades Glittering. With this, her elemental field will still be lacking compared to Sir Albedo, but it will be able to last the entire duration of one battle. With more blood sacrifices of Primo Gems than money earned over the past year, she will unlock her full potential at her 6th constellation. It will finally be able to compete with Hu Tao, albeit at her base form, but perhaps even surpassing her by a marginal amount. I humbly ask all of my subjects to grace Dia with not hate, but love. We must fight for our Sentry Knight as she has fought for us. Now, the procession of her Ertalong must bid thee adieu. We shall host a feast in the feedback sections of Tayvat. What the procession means is, send your feedback to her.